Hey guys, so today I am filming um, a summer go-to um, kind of simple makeup look um, but with a pop of colour which is really ironic now because the weather actually hasn't been very good um, in the UK. I still felt like I wanted to do a summer kind of inspired makeup tutorial. Sometimes you don't want to do like a heavy kind of like eye makeup look but you still want it to look like you've put some effort in and also there's quite a lot of like emphasis on the skin because I'm going to make this kind of like the steps that I take um, to make my makeup also like quite oil and sweat proof. Also I've got the camera set up a little bit different um, today. Sometimes the focus is really annoying and more accidentally. I'm gonna focus on this wall here. I'm just kind of like seeing how this works for today. Let, let me know like which one you guys prefer. Yeah, let's get into it. So as per, I'm starting off with primer. This is the um, Benefit Professional Primer. It tends to be my go-to if I really want makeup but I'm lasting. I don't know, I like to use it just because of the uh, kind of like mattifying, you know, that kind of like almost drying. It's not drying, but it has that like kind of powdery feel to it. So the kind of first step for like um, my face makeup, if I want it to last ages to not get oily or sweaty, is the kind of powder undo your foundation trick. I know that this seems like kind of recently, it's like been talked about a lot, but I wanna see you about this trick. Years ago, I think it was like Wayne Goss who first made a video about it, and that's when I started doing it. I honestly don't do it all the time, most of the time I'm not fast enough. When I first discovered it, I used to do it all the time then. For some reason I just like stopped doing it. I'm just using this collection loose powder. I thought for the one that goes under foundation just like any kind of like cheaper loose powder would work. Um, this is very loose. Okay so I'm looking at a very high level of ashy right now like I look dead but you know I know that it it will be fine once I apply foundation onto it. I'm actually going to be mixing two different products. Um, the first one is the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin One and Done. It's called the Hybrid Complexion Perfector, but it's like a kind of tinted moisturizer, BB cream type thing. The reason why I'm mixing this is because the shade is way too light for me and that's so disappointing. I don't know, honestly, I don't have very problematic skin, so sometimes I just want like a kind of simple makeup look that just doesn't look too much. So that's why I was really excited to try this out, but it's just the shade shade is so much lighter than I thought. There are people who are, you know, a lot of shades darker than me, so I'm like, if you're saying this is the deeper shade, it doesn't even work with my skin tone, it's just, okay. A bit of a rant about like, makeup shades and just generally, like makeup for women of colour, um, or people of colour, um, very annoying, but anyway, um, so because of that, I mix it in with like a dark foundation, which um, this one is the Maybelline Dream Satin um, Liquid in a um, rich cocoa beige. So I'm just blending that in with my Miracle Complexion sponge. This was just a random thought, but I haven't used um, this mirror in so, so long. One of my very close friends from like a few years ago um, gave to me. For some reason I've just not used it. Comment down below if you've like actually you recognise this mirror. Just to know if you've been watching my channel long enough to recognise this mirror. Although to think about it, I don't know if I'd recognise a mirror that someone else uses in their tutorials, you know, like you probably wouldn't take note that much. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm also just gonna take what else is new, the LA Girl Concealer, and um, apply that under the eyes. Recently, I've not been bothering to do like, you know, the typical like V under the eyes. I just feel like sometimes it's too heavy. It's not every day be like five shades lighter under your eyes. I also use this as like an eye base for my eyeshadow the other day and it lasted so long. Just, you know, a little bit to kind of brighten under the eyes. <laughs> I've just realised that I've just spilt loads of my um, Ben Nye powder um, into like the little bag of like makeup products I'm using, so that's fun. <laughs> but I'm just going to tip some of that, quite a lot of that, <laughs> onto my sponge and just kind of apply it in the same places where I put the concealer. Wow, that is, that is quite a lot. Right, so now I'm gonna move on to my brows, but um, I do my brows in a lot of videos, so I'm not gonna bother like recording it. Okay, so I'm back with some brows, and now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So I want to keep the eyes pretty matte, apart from like the pop of color, which I'm going to do, but the actual like shadow on the eyelids, I'm gonna just keep like a kind of like matte brown. So I'm going in with this pretty like unusual palette that I think my aunt got from me in America, from Nordstrom. It just seems to have every color, and like some of my palettes, they're quite like shimmery. This is a good palette for 
uh, matte colours basically. So I'm gonna take, I think like a mix of this brown and this brown here. This is quite like a ready kind of brick brown. And um, I thought that could be quite nice. I'm just gonna apply that kind of into the crease. Oh yeah, I really like that. I mean, I guess you could argue it looks a bit like a black eye, but <laughs> not when we're done, it won't. <laughs> I guess I've just kind of created like almost like a halo around my eye. Then I'm just gonna take uh, this kind of like taupey colour and mix it with a bit of that purple. Hopefully it's not like too purple. I just want like a lighter shade on the eyelid. Why do I have to be so blind? It's so difficult when I'm doing like makeup videos because even from here, I can't see as clearly. Like where I can properly see is here. And obviously like if I'm filming like this all the time, like you can't see anything I'm doing. I feel like I have that a lot um, where I accidentally just go into like the zone and just like cover up everything I'm doing. If only I was one of those like glasses wearers that actually likes contacts. I'm definitely not, everyone finds it so strange when I say this, but I feel like I just look so weird without glasses. Like glasses have actually become a part of my identity. <laughs> That's so lame, but like, no, honestly, like, I feel like I look like an alien without glasses. I think like Luke was like, so you would never get, you know, like surgery to like correct your eyes. Obviously I'd love to be able to see without glasses in that sense, like when you wake up, it's nice to not rely on something to see. But honestly, if, even if I got my eyes fixed and they were like 2020 vision, I would still wear like kind of fashion glasses. It's not about just needing glasses, it's more about I actually don't like the way I look without glasses. I just feel like my eyes are too small and like too sunken into my face. Right, so now we're actually going for that pop of colour. So what I'm using is this shade here first. I'm just going to sweep that like under my lash line. I may have chosen a brush that's a bit too like big and fluffy and uh, I don't know if you noticed but it was kind of like flicking it outwards towards the edge of the actual eyelid shadow as well. And then I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going to take this shade which I think is gorgeous. Um, it's kind of like a kind of icy almost like pastel blue. I'm going to kind of use that as like an inner corner highlight. There we are. So um, that's the like eyeshadow look. Now I'm just going to do a bit of a liner. Now onto mascara. I'm going to be starting off with the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. Honestly, this mascara is so good. Every time I apply it, I'm like, ooh, yes. I'm also going to apply it onto my lower lash line. And then back to my top lashes, I'm going to be going over top of that with the Vero Mascara by Benefit. Honestly, my lashes are so different, like eye to eye. This eye, all the lashes are like uniform. Whereas on this eye, there are just some random eyelashes that just like stick out just all over the place. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, that is it for the eyes. The cheek routine, pretty much the same that I always do for the contour um, as I've been using recently. Um, it's the NYX um, cream contour and highlight palette. I do really like this contour shade. It gives you like properly like chiseled cheeks. Um, the shade is really, really good for my skin. Um, it does the kind of like perfect level of following because it's like very cool toned. Just getting that up to my temples a bit. And then for blush, I'm using this one from Gosh. I feel like this is quite a throwback, like I haven't used this in ages. Oh yes, I missed this blush colour. <laughs> I forgot how nice it was. I feel like it works really well with um, the contour as well, like the tone of it. For highlight, obviously, I'm going to be using my Becca. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my highlight brush. <laughs> my Becca um, highlighter. Oh shit, I accidentally just like dotted that on my face, so that's, that's fabulous. I'm just like putting the remainder of the highlight on my nose as well. Apply a bit to the cupid's bow. Top lip kind of area. I do love having like glowy skin in the summer though. It's one of those things where it's like, you don't want to look oily, but you do still want to look glowy. And um, it's amazing in the summer because it looks like it's like a natural glow. So now I'm just going to take um, this like Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. 
and powder the rest of my face. It's mostly like my forehead that hasn't gotten any powder at this point. And then just want my chin. I get like the smile line like creases. So you know, pack a bit on there. Sorry if my positioning has changed. I had to go and grab this um, because it was actually in my bag from wearing it yesterday. It's one of the new um, L'Oreal matte lip paint. And this is in the shade Nude on Fleek. I'm taking this um, a NYX lip liner. This is, I think, literally called brown. Yeah, brown. I know I probably should have done this before I did the lip paint thing, but better late than never. And that just looks really gorgeous like, after I've like, kind of blended it in. It's just more seamless because going from like a kind of terracotta, peachy, nude to my skin tone is quite different. So this acts as like a transition. So now I'm just going to apply some setting spray this is the urban decay d slick setting spray so obviously i'm very good for like oily skin and then finally i'm gonna go on the top of that um with um this product which i've not actually talked about it's the la roche posay um anthelios anti-shine 50 SPF invisible fresh mist so basically it's just a sunscreen if you guys remember actually my Morocco vlog I was like complaining that I like noticed that I was breaking out so I bought it like straight after we came back from Morocco just because yeah sun cream it's just so greasy and I have like oily skin and it obviously tends to get amped up in the summer I still want to protect my skin obviously but yeah normal sun cream that like you use on your body is quite like greasy and just you know, it just has that greasy, like, gross feel. I don't like the feel of it at all on my face. And also, as I noticed, um, it can sometimes break me out. So I got this and I actually really, really like this. As it says, it's anti-shine, so it doesn't have that typical kind of, like, greasy sun cream feel. It's so weird. You can't even feel it going onto your skin. It is very fine mist. It's almost like as if it was, like, a dusting of powder. It also tastes nice if it gets into your mouth, but you probably shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so that is my um, quite simple, I feel, makeup for summer, like the pop of colour, but also how to make like the skin look like super glowy and nice, but also not shiny um, and oily. So um, extra steps that I take to make sure I'm not going to get like sweaty and like greasy. So I hope you enjoyed this look and um, this video in general. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. That really, really helps me know how you guys like my video. So if you did enjoy this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Check out my social media as well. Um, I'm on like all my social medias every day. Also, that reminds me, I did make a Twitter like kind of recently. It was like a few weeks ago now, but I don't think I've like actually properly talked about it on my channel yeah please 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 go and follow my twitter um i kind of like got twitter so i can be more interactive i really do want to kind of like do that more i think it's like really fun and you get to like talk to like cool youtubers as well do go and follow my twitter please it's just like moesha odonkel all one thing um the same with my instagram and my snapchat is moo mayhem i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye in the, in the, in the